My brothers and sisters, greetings. We celebrate the 31st Sunday in Ordinary Time. With one simple question, the prophet Malachi gets to the heart of who we are, since we are all come from the same father. We are all equal in dignity. We all have an equal claim to the gift of life, and we are all deserve the same respect and the same level of care as everyone else. Malachi was speaking here to the priests of Jerusalem who were abusing their role as leaders. They were showering partiality and they were, they were showing partiality and taking advantage of their positions. Paul understood the dignity that every child of God shares. He was clearly aware of the one Father we all share, the one God who created each of us. Malachi saw very empty worship. People in Christ went through the motions, but in speaking to the priest, Malachi accused them of not listening to God, saying that they did not lay his word on their hearts. This short phrase meant that they had not taken God's word to heart in a way that would lead them to conform their lives and behaviors to it. They were hypocrites. They professed their creeds, but they did not live them. And then we think of Jesus as being such a loving and sweet person that is, it's hard for us to imagine him losing his temper and hurling insults at people. But that is it. But that is exactly what he does. He, unleash, he unleashes and the torrent of insults over the Pharisees. His words would have stung the Pharisees deeply. We need to see how failure to live according to God's word moved Jesus to the point that even his most ardent followers would have been uncomfortable with his barrage of insults. Jesus offered one and only one compliment to the Pharisees. They did not know the law and they were faithful in interpreting it properly. He found no fault with what they thought. He did find terrible sin in the fact that they would profess the creeds but not practice them. And it is why the gospel of this Sunday has great meaning for us and Jesus is telling us not calling anyone father. Yet, children call their male parents a father. Even though Jesus said, do not call anyone on earth your father, instructors in school accept the title teacher, even though Jesus said, avoid being called teachers. It would be absurd to maintain that these practices contradict Jesus' directives. Obviously, their meaning is not a literal, and yet, through this rather strong imperative, Jesus did want to teach us an important lesson. He wanted to instruct us that we may give to no one the place in our lives which belongs to God. We cannot allow anyone to take God's place in our lives. That's the teaching when he said, don't call anyone on earth your father or teacher. It is a way to not really give any other person more importance than Jesus himself, than God himself. May God continue to open your hearts and mind to always put him first. May he bless you.